Hey, good morning, Whittier. Happy December 1st. Welcome back to my Whittier TV. It is Sunday. It is early. It is cold. And uh, I'm out here because I caught wind of a guy who makes breakfast burritos out of his backyard. Now, if you know me or anything about me, you know when I hear something like that, my spider senses start to tingle. I just love the sound of that. I love the sound of an entrepreneur, a small business guy, making things happen and uh, doing things outside the box. Now, uh, it's called the Burrito Joint. I found him uh, through word of mouth, and then I found him on Instagram, and apparently it's a pretty big deal. Good burritos, and uh, the entrepreneurial spirit is there right in his backyard I had to go see what this is all about so stick around watch the whole video we are going to go and check out the burrito joint in Whittier California let's go my Whittier TV is sponsored by Scott Storage $29.95 moves you into any size unit okay guys I'm here at the burrito joint and uh, I'm just in like a normal neighborhood Found the sign. It says to come on in, 8 to 12 breakfast burritos, and I'm really pumped up. I love stuff like this. I really do. So uh, let's go inside and see what's going on. All right, I'm here at the uh, burrito joint. The owners, Manuel Chacon and Kimberly Puga, are here cooking it up. This looks delicious. The smells are amazing, and uh, I can't wait to sit down and talk to these two about this backyard venture. I'm here with Kim, one of the owners of this the burrito joint, and I'm having this delicious burrito. Thank you so much. Thank Manuel's you. over there throwing down. And um, so you guys came up with this idea about four months ago, or you just started four months ago, or are you thinking about it for a while? We kind of, we went out to dinner with a, another, a couple friend of ours, and we were just talking. They're also business owners, and we were just like, we want to start our own business. We don't know what. He loves to cut. Yeah. I like assisting. So, and he loves breakfast. Like, that's his thing. That's so, his we're thing. like, Signature. breakfast burritos, why not? Yeah. Everyone's like always on the go. Mm -hmm. It just was a spur of the moment kind of thing. So, we did like the soft opening with family, and they loved it. So, we were like, okay, nice. I think we have something going on here. Let's give it a shot. And this is great because you guys, you could just make the burritos, they could pick them up, take them home. Yeah. They don't have to eat them here. I'm, I'm enjoying it eating here, but and that's nice that you have this. But they can just grab them, order online, right? Order on Instagram? Um, or how does it go? How does it work? So we have um, a phone number that we put on Instagram. Okay. And they can just shoot a text. Um, it's faster that way. Yeah. We prefer it that way rather yeah. than DM. Yeah. We get the orders done quicker. So right. people can enjoy their breakfast. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you have uh, multiple different burritos. You have the chorizo burrito, which is delicious. What else do you got? Do. So we have a variety. They all come with um, eggs and potatoes and cheese um but we have the signature which is just uh, all the meats bacon ham sausage egg. all of these burritos look delicious i can't wait to come back and try another one it's potatoes uh, cheese crust and then the one you have chorizo mm -hmm. meat lovers same concept except the eggs have the chorizo in it and we have the veggie, which is a meatless option. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't call it vegetarian because it's cooked on the same griddle and I know right. it gets a little, mm -hmm. um, but it's just a meatless option in case, you know, you're not feeling the meat. Yeah, yeah. that's delicious. I love the vibe. Oh, thank I you. love the entrepreneurial spirit. Thank you. That's what we're all about yeah. on my Whittier. So I'm gonna get the man in here for a second. Yeah. Let's talk to him real quick. Oh yeah. Here he is, the man, Manuel, the uh, the chef of the burrito joint. Now, she said this started up about three or four months ago, but you said you've been cooking since you were about 13 yeah. or, or younger. Yeah. yeah, give or take about 13 years 13 old. years old. Yeah. What is it about it, man? You just, um, you just love it? I guess I, I kind of like making things my own way. Yeah. So every time we cook, I try to make something different. and try Put your to, spin on yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. And uh, my mom would always get mad because I'd leave a mess. <laughs> but but uh, but now I, I got better at cleaning, so yeah, it's not too bad. But so your own spin is that where this uh, cheese crust came from? I saw so it on, 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 that? on the infamous YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, that looks good. 
And, and you then per- I, it looks like you perfected it. Yeah, it's a, a lot of it's timing. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, this isn't bur- burnt at all. No, I mean, this is perfect. Got a, Look at that. Yeah, I, we used to make. Uh, we did keto for a while. Okay. And we would make uh, chips. Oh, nice. Just okay. Cheese, cheese chips. Cheese chips. Nice. Chop them up. On so the got, griddle. Yeah, I got the timing right. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So, so you were saying, uh, since you were 13, you like to put your own spin on it, and you also got to have an entrepreneurial kind of spirit to kind of take yeah, something on like I, this, right? I got that from my dad. Yeah. I've, I've had a. A bunch of different small businesses. I did uh-huh. uh, silk screening for a while. Yeah. I did. Uh, I sold vitamins. You know, oh really? Yeah, yeah. One of those uh, network marketing oh, okay, companies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I did that for a little while. Um, my dad and I own a trucking business. Oh nice. So, okay. So that's what we do okay. for a living. Yeah. So I was like, I like trucking, but I love cooking. Yes. So yeah. Let I me think... try doing something I love, mm-hmm. and then if it works, cool. If not, I'll just keep doing it because I love it. Yeah, I think that's what a lot of people. I, I run into a lot of people, and they love to do you know they love to cook or they love right. to silk screen or they love to create but they have out we all have to pay the bills you gotta yeah. have a job exactly so everybody kind of is doing kind of two things at once which is great because you gotta you know it's good you have a great job to pay the bills but you got to do what you love too. right yeah uh, yeah and it, it, it's cool once a week and then uh, if it if it gets um bigger and bigger then we'll yeah. probably start doing it more yeah our goal is eventually to get a um, food truck okay yeah, yeah that'd be great um i have a i have a friend uh, MSM catering mm-hmm. trucks. He mm-hmm. built. That's what he does for okay. living. So they build catering trucks, and he's like, "Hey, Jack, I can help you out. Yeah, you know, show you how to build it to where it'll pass. Right. Make sure it'll pass. Because mm-hmm. if you can pass in LA, you can pass anywhere. Anywhere. In the US. Okay. Good. Sweet. So, yeah, eventually. I can see you kind of like getting into the build, truck build, and then yeah. all of a sudden you're like, "I'm going to build trucks now for people." <laughs> right. I, I can. I can just. I sense that with you, man. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I used to weld too. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See, you're going to get into another yeah, hobby. I actually, uh, I was working with him for a little while, for maybe about a month or two. Okay. Just helping yeah. build build catering trucks, which kind of helped because kind of shows you the ins and outs. Exactly. Of how you got to know how, every what, what aspect work. of it. Right. Yeah. A lot of because, people get into this thing and they're like, I'm just yeah. going to buy a truck. I don't know anything about it, but I know how to right. cook. Right. Or, or they think they could make a kitchen however they want. Right. Just because the truck's yeah. empty. So it's got to flow. It's got to flow. It's, it's got to have, have certain certain things, dimensions elements. and everything right. yeah so well i gotta tell you man i love your setup i'm gonna finish my burrito and uh i, I appreciate you guys letting me come oh, down and film it. Yeah, it was good yeah thank appreciate you. it man thank you so thank much you. i'm telling you man manual is deadly on this griddle all right guys we're here at the burrito joint and uh i got my burrito here and if you can see this it's got this amazing little cheese crust going on that it's a signature burrito joint move right there and this looks really good piping hot and uh, got some homemade salsa right here and you know how I do it I'm gonna get on this and uh, put some salsa on here Woo, nice and hot fresh out of the oven right here and um, Let's see what's cooking right now. Delicious. As you can see, not a small burrito by any means. It's a big boy. I'm loving the flavors. I'm loving the cheese crust. I've never had a burrito with cheese crust on it. And it's very, very good. Okay, I'm here with uh, one of the employees, right? You're one of the one of the workers here. Yeah, tell me a little bit about your your you like you like this stuff? You like yeah. yeah. When it gets really busy, yeah, he'll run out of stuff, and I have to go um, back and forth to get him like the chorizo, the ham, the bacon. So you're the right hand man type of thing. You gotta you're the runner. You gotta yeah. get, when they need it, you gotta go get it. And we also do have quesadillas. We just didn't put it on. The oh, table. you gotta get that next time. Well, thanks for pointing that out, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for your hard work. This is a great setup, and I'm loving it, man. Thanks. Nice to meet you. It doesn't get better than this. Family owned and operated right here in South Whittier. Yeah, what's going on, man? Nice to meet you. Okay, so you're part of the team here, and I wanted to talk to you because you actually took my order, yeah. and I see you like running around. You're taking everybody's order, making sure everybody has what they need. How long have you been at it? For about a month now, right, man? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a month. Yeah. All right, about a month. Yeah. All right, sweet. So you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's, it's pretty fun. A little family business, you know. Yeah. Not too, not too many hours. You know, you're here on a Sunday, and it's, then you can go back and do your thing. Start gaming, going back home and game. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, cool. Well, I just wanted to get you in here, man, and talk to you because you did take my order and you got it right. It's so important to get the order right. So I appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys, there you have it. The burrito joint is legit. It's real. And uh, it's delicious. I mean, I'm here trying to finish this gigantic chorizo burrito and it's delicious with the cheese crust and um, I gotta say this is the type of place that I love it's an entrepreneur spirit family owned people just thinking outside the box and doing it right out of their own backyard and uh, that's what my Whittier is all about it's finding the unique residents in the city that are doing amazing things and uh, this is great I think that they're onto something and I need you guys to come out and check out the burrito joint. I think you're really going to love it. You can pick up a burrito and take it home, or you can uh, eat it here. You will not be disappointed. We will see you next time on my video TV, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you. Okay, guys, I'm here with Eric. He's a customer of the burrito joint. How long have you been coming here, Eric? Uh, I would say about a few months. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, man, it's great. You guys got to come by, drop on by and visit and just check it out. I heard you were concerned about maybe them closing for the holidays because you need to have your burritos, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> this is a weekly thing for me. Uh, stop on by. I'm pretty sure that you won't be disappointed. Right, guys, there it is. The burrito joint. And what an experience. What a great, great time that was. And I hope you guys can make it out to the burrito joint because these guys are making some delicious food right in their own backyard. And it is uh, really, really cool. I'll see you next time on my Whittier TV. Have a great one. Special thanks to Emmanuel and Kimberly. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.